Hey, welcome back. It's Milton Daily Homes. Chuck here. And so we've got a list of 15 properties. And I can't believe we're halfway through August already. It's amazing to me. Uh, as always, you have three options just to the side there. So feel free to meet me at Starbucks. I've got a good open schedule this week. I'd love to sit down with you and talk about your plans, talk about really how to keep you safe through the whole process. So 1479 Maple is our first one. It's at 209. Uh, or sorry, it's unit 209, it's a 259.5. And so it says it's a two bedroom, but this one sort of wavers in how it's listed between a one plus one or a two bedroom. So it's possible that second bedroom may not have a closet in it. Okay, so you've got, uh, you're on the second floor. I actually like the way the kitchen cabinets and then the way they painted and the way the floors come together. I think it looks really nice. Um, you know, 767 square feet. Not a bad size. You can see the pond, it actually looks over, uh, just over on that side there. Actually, some good condos today. That's kind of a different view. And then you've got the rest of the, uh, the, the unit right there. 198 on the condo fees. It includes basically your heat, your water, and your common elements. So you pay your hydro on top of that. You pay your cable TV on top of that. And um, one parking space included. Overall, I like it. And then you've got this other one on the fourth floor. The nice thing about the ones on the fourth floor is they have these nice high 12-foot ceilings. So this one's the same price, and it's the same model. It's an 09 column. So between the two of them, this one may not have as good of a view, depending on how the building's oriented. But I'll tell you, the, the, the ceilings on this one are worth something. So there's no pictures here. This one lists as a 1 plus 1. And... Um, yeah, I think there's some good things in here. It looks like you've got uh, espresso cabinets, you've got some upgraded appliances, you've got some good under pad, which is great in a condo. I'm a big fan of that. So overall, very, very nice. 648 Frank Place is at 284.9. And so this is one of the smaller units. So it's called an Ashfield. Uh, it's about 1051 square feet. And, you know, nice, simple kitchen, basic colors are very simple, uh, light, bright home. And you've got the two bedrooms. Second bedroom's not huge, but you can fit a queen size bed, not too much else. Uh, and then there's your main floor there. You've got your laundry just off to the side. And you can see the reflection in the mirror, kind of clever, shows the entrance to the garage. And you've got your balcony, and there's a park just down the street there, too. So I like this one. I think their price adjustment is in reflection to one of the same model that was uh, that was listed, I think, last week. I think it was on Bernard uh, for two seventy nine. dollars So these guys are a little bit higher. They're in a great spot. They're going to sell it, I think, at this price. Okay, so $13.79 cost, again, number 208, is at two ninety four nine, And so it's a two-bedroom, two-washroom. And I talk a lot about that's really my ideal version is the two-bedroom, two-washroom because you do have options if somebody else is staying with you or if it's just the two of you can each have your own washroom. To me, that opens up a, a much wider audience. So there's your lobby. Not a whole lot of amenities in this building, so you're pretty much just getting like your unit has to be the rock star. So you've got nice hardwood floors, nine-foot ceilings here, really nice impression inside. You can see the upgraded countertops there and the hardwood upgrade in the bedroom. And then you've got a great looking view too. This is the best view in the whole building on the other side, on the west side. And I'm a big fan. I like this one a lot. $2.94.9, good price. Okay, so Cox is the next one. And this one excites me if, like, from the investor glasses, like putting my investor glasses on, this one could be a really good option. It's at $3.79, and so you've got an interlock driveway. And so single car garage. It's a back split. And so you've got your main floor. You've got your moldings there. Kitchen's been updated. Now the floors look like they may just be a vinyl, so you may have to uh, maybe upgrade those a bit. So three bedrooms up on the top level, two bedrooms downstairs, and you could cut off the lower level and actually make a little suite down there, have a little in-law suite, and all of a sudden at $379, you've got two suites there, both quite rentable. It's in a good area. It's pretty much right across from a school, and uh, I do like this one. I think that if it had that stuff, I mean, but then you look, you say, okay, well, the air conditioner is not working. So you really want to make sure you get a good home inspector on this one here. But it looks like a good price for what you're getting and potentially what it could be in the future. Lamont, I'm a big fan of. It's at 379 Usually these units are kind of 370 375 
experienced quite a dramatic increase probably in the last three or four months. They used to sell, you know, 320, 330, and they just have really kicked up. Um, lots of space in the driveway here. Got a bit of landscaping. Look at the inside. I mean, just beautiful inside. Uh, really good floor plan. Big, big space here. You got a walkout basement. Great looking floors here. The kitchen's well done. It's just very, very good. So this is a, I, I like the price on this one. They're probably going to get very close to that. And uh, 12 Dills is the next one. It's at 389.5. And so with these ones here, a lot of times what the builder does, and I'm not 100% on this, but I'm pretty sure. So this is actually a link home. So they share the foundation wall, but from the outside, it actually looks like a detached home. Okay, so you've got... Um, the thing about Dill is very choppy. So it's, I mean, the homes are very close together. There's semis and small detached homes here. This is probably one of the bigger homes on the street. So you've got a four bedroom. You've got a long room right here. You've got a little bit of an eat-in. There's probably a kitchen over here and there's a family room in the back. So yeah, you can see carpet, carpet, and you've got your little eat-in area. And um, yeah, it looks nice. Nice neutral colors. I love the decor here. That's a huge master bedroom. Very, very nicely done, and uh, huge room in the front there, too. Okay, so overall, I'm a big fan. Detached homes under 400, you're getting this much space, very, very hard to find. So they're, they're going to do quite well. A10 Hepburn is at 399, and it's an 1860 square foot home, and it's a four bedroom. Okay, it's called a Rosewood model. There's your, uh, your kitchen, very functional layout, pot lights, hardwood floors. Nice bright colors. I mean, sometimes that dark is just, I mean, people can go too dark and it starts to weigh the house down. This one's light, airy. It has a good feeling. Um, you got a glass shower upstairs. Yeah, really, really nice. There's big furniture in that room and it can still fit it. So that's that's a good sign too. Overall, I think they've, uh, they've done a good job on this one. The last one that sold with similar features was in the 390s. So they're going to do, uh, I don't think it'll take them too long to sell this one. 841 Thompson, 419. And so this is a semi-detached. It's a corner. It's a little bit smaller than the one that we just saw. And really inside, I mean, to me, the other one looks like it's it has more value for the money. But, uh, you know, I, visiting these in person can sometimes be a lot different. I like how there's like a Remax calendar there, and then there's actually Home Life that listed the home. It almost looks like a roll of page sign, so that could even be an old picture of the house. But uh, yeah, I think between 17 and 1800 square feet. To me, I've, I've seen better options. Even you look at this one here on French Garden. Now, a little bit older home, uh, but I mean, it's detached since it's 4249. And yeah, it's got the siding, big deal. We sold one not far from this one uh, that's slightly smaller in the 430. So I'm really amazed at this price. You've got nice hardwood floors, okay, you've got a, a gas fireplace in there, a media niche. It's a really good floor plan here. So you've got the kitchen, you've got some moldings here, you've got pot drawers, nice size kitchen. And plus, normally this is sort of a pantry or it's it's kind of an open area. And so they've chosen to put, I guess, like a, a broom closet or a walk-in pantry here. Either way, I like it. Okay, upstairs, a little bit more basic in the bathroom. You have a, a second floor balcony that overlooks a park, and it's a really nice park. French Garden is one of my favorite streets. In the holidays, in winter, the whole street lights up. There's some great Christmas lights. It's a great street, okay? There's big mature trees around. Love this home, okay? So this one is actually, although there's some really good homes here, some of those condos are very nice. This one gets the chuck pick so far. I'm a big, big fan of this one. So 729 Willow is at 449.9. Double car garage. So it's a back split, renovated, okay, on a 150 foot lot. Now it's on the north side of Willow, so there's a chance that this backs onto steels, in which case might be a little tricky. It's only a two bedroom as well. So it says two bedrooms upstairs plus one downstairs. But I think cosmetically, it's a very good looking home. Uh, lots of money spent on this one. The bathroom has been upgraded. I mean, almost everywhere you turn in this home, it looks like a newer house. So anyhow, so the location might be a bit of a detriment. I could see somebody maybe not being thrilled with only having two bedrooms upstairs, 
but there's a lot of good things about this home. Okay, you could fit a pool in here and have tons of room to spare. Uh, 158 Wilson is at 469.9. I saw this one on the weekend, and uh, it's got a good first impression. All the windows have been done. The roofing is still in good shape. So it's, I guess, you know, my wife sort of said about this one, it's a very eclectic style. You could tell these people love to have a good time in their house. They've got a pool. You can see a nice entertainer's kitchen. I could see some people walking in. No, the counters have been upgraded. You can see there's the backsplash, but these cabinets are, are sort of the old wood and melamine. I mean, that's Sub-Zero fridge. That's not a cheap fridge. But the cabinets I could see some people walking in and saying, hey, we're going to have to change that around a bit. This is called Pagan, I think Pagan Groove Floor or something like that. It's uh, apparently very expensive floor. Uh, huge master bedroom. And then they this room here, this used to be a wall. And so you could convert this one if you wanted to back to a four bedroom home if you wanted to. Okay, so the, I think I said if you wanted to twice there. Uh, basement downstairs, this is all like a tumbled marble backsplash on the whole wall. And so they've definitely put a lot of money into this home. The backyard, there's a little tiki bar. There's all kinds of great features. It backs onto a school. So if you're thinking evenings, weekends, you do have some privacy there. Uh, the pool looks like it's in good shape. You've got two gazebos, uh, fire pit, all kinds of, excuse me, all kinds of stuff. So really, really nice stuff. Potentially a four bedroom. Uh, you've only got one, one full bathroom upstairs and then one down in the basement. Um, yeah, I mean, it's got a lot of stuff in there. The, have, not having a double garage is probably going to hurt them a little bit. And I think just, just catered to their specific taste. I don't know if everyone's going to fall in love with the entire house. But uh, there's a lot of stuff in there, a lot of room. Okay, so 1207 Turner is at 488.5. And so you've got vinyl siding here. It's got a double car garage, which you don't see from this angle. Um, the pictures are okay. I mean, that's a really tough one. Like, what room is that? It doesn't really... It just kind of looks dark to me. Same with this one here. But you can start to see some hardwood floors see a little bit in the bathroom. They probably could have taken a few things out of there. Same thing here. I can't, I just can't get a good sense of the home. Can't really grasp it too well. In the kitchen, I mean, that's a nice inlay. I think it's, uh, you know, some people might like it, some people won't. They've got kind of a mismatched appliance. So it just seems like there could have been a little bit more effort made inside the home just to declutter it. Now, I'm not sure if that's a kick plate. If it is, it's a great thing. It's, it's connected to the central vacuum. You sweep your stuff right into there. Um, so yeah, it's just, it's a, it's a tough one to latch on to. Uh, it is a double car garage, which you, again, you don't see from, from here. Four bedroom, and I think at 488.5, that's, that's a good price typically for four bedroom double car garage. So go check this one out. Try and really look past some of the things that are in there that, that may not, um, you know, like they don't come with the home. Like try and look around, through, above, below that stuff to get a sense of what the home is really about. Uh, 627 Serafini, 578, it's a four bedroom, and it uh, looks like it's got a little bit of a pie-shaped lot, it's about 10 feet uh, wider in the back, and it's a 100-foot lot, it's good size. Um, 2370 square feet, and it's a bungalow loft, okay? So you've got, it looks like you have three bedrooms on the main floor, plus the loft upstairs, plus another bedroom. So potentially you could have uh, you could have maybe four or five bedrooms on this one. So I do like that. It's a big, big, big piece of property. Uh, you've got a big house, bungalow lofts. Typically you're getting a bigger basement because it's covering more ground, the actual size of the, uh, the house. So no photos here, but I do like it. I like the way it's priced. I would expect just on paper to see that one maybe even over six. Uh, Holloway is at 639.9, four bedroom, five washrooms. So the builder professionally finished the basement. You're about 22, 2300 square feet, plus maybe another 12 or 13 downstairs. Travertine backsplash, granite counters, all kinds of stuff like that. Um, now, I believe the same model is listed actually on the same street for, uh, for quite a bit less. So I think it uh, depends how much you value some of the upgrades. I personally would rather kind of do things my own way, and I'd probably scoop the uh, the lower priced one. But who knows? I mean, let's have a look at the pictures, and uh, again, it, chalk it up to personal taste. So again, come meet me at Starbucks. I really want to share some great information with you. 
Uh, I've, I've met a lot of people that over the years, if they just had to talk to somebody before they acted, they would have really, you know, been a lot better off. You know, whether it's buying a new home, uh, selling your current home, buying another one, buying your first home, investing in real estate, there's all kinds of places where I can really make a significant impact, not only in your wallet, but in your life. And uh, so anyway, so just click on that button and, uh, and come join me for about an hour. Okay, so have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow with more Milton Daily Homes. Bye for now.